hello everyone welcome back in our last video we created the get card property function in case quantity of the card function decrease quantity card function remove item from the card function and lastly we have to create another function to calculate the total okay so here you can see we display here the total amount uh, that you need to pay to complete his order so in order to display here the total we need to create here another function to calculate the total actually so yeah let's create it uh, function name is public function uh, get total uh, price something like that or get total property okay any name you can give so for me it's get total property then here return collect and inside of the collect this card okay then we're going to do the sum here we need to use here a callback function and we're just going to get the item from the card then calculate the total price so that's going to be item price so in item we have the price okay and we need to multiply it with item quantity okay fine that's all so it will simply calculate the total then in render previously we just read on the view file library dot card component and now we also have to pass here uh, some variable which will return us data from our session okay and in that case first one going to be card item card item we're just going to give it a name of card items okay and here we're going to return this card so all the card item will go inside of it next total which we just calculated we need to return that as well and it is from this total fine that's it now all we have to do is we have to go to this view file and to make it dynamic so let's do it and for that this is one card item okay i believe so right okay this is one card item then this is another card item so remove one Okay. just keep one and total and we will just loop through it and everything going to be perfect so we just leave here one card item if you just go to the design or website refresh you can see that now we have only one card item in front end now we're going to loop through it and display our value from where session right okay so for each or for else we can use like we used that in previous video for else we have the card items right card items i believe if i just go to that card component again you can see card items so that card items as product ID item okay that means every product ID going to be considered as item and here the loop going to be end after the for else loop end here we're going to type if it is empty that means if the card is empty then what 
we're going to display here one paragraph okay this saying your card is empty and we're going to end here our for ills okay so if you use here for each okay then you will not be able to use here empty okay so if you want to use here empty condition then you need to use here for else instead of for is okay so if you use here for is then it will not actually work <sighs> next inside of this let me print out our item name so that is inside of our item then there we have the name okay then here input type number value by default we have one but here also we want to show dynamic value which is item quantity right in item we have the quantity and it should be read only okay because we will able to like simply use the plus and minus sign to increase and decrease the value of it so by default it will give it to be read only and you have to make this plus and minus working we need to do some work how in the plus okay in the plus simply type like or then click okay why auto correct working like this or auto complete working like this or right, click and here we have the functionality we know that right increase quantity we created the function here increase quantity so we're just going to use that whenever you just click on this plus sign we want to increase quantity and inside of that we also need to use the blade templating to pass our product id okay so product id so whenever anyone going to click on this plus sign it will increase the quantity okay and same way we need to pass this or click to the minus sign as well okay and in this case it's going to be decrease quantity right so we already created the function just passing them here next next this is the price you have to display here the price what you need to do use the blade templating once again and inside of this use number formatting okay and we're going to display price from item price right then max two decimal we want to display here that's it this will display the one item price then equal to we want to display like total price of the item like if you bought three item then 20 into 3 mul 20 multiplied 3 is going to be 60 60 going to be display after the equal sign right so this is going to display the one item price and based on the quantity you have the total going to display after the equal sign okay so we're going to use here the strong then here again the dollar sign then blade templating number format and instead of this item then price 
in then multiply item you know that right quantity right and also you want to display max to decimal and yeah that's it and in the delete button this is the delete button you know this is the delete button we need to make it working as well here we also going to pass wire click function so the type here wire click and inside of this we already have the function for remove item if you go to cut component again you will see we have the remove item so just pass it here then similarly pass the id of the item so it should be product id perfect now in total we have to work but first let's save this and refresh the website and see okay i missed here the dollar sign here you can see dollar sign is missing let's save it refresh yeah perfect now our card is empty displaying here empty let's add one item to the card and you can see it's here and i remove the item it's showing card is empty again add it to the card displaying the card item increase the quantity you can see it is increased successfully increase again it is working right and if i remove the item it also remove the item perfect now in total we need to display it properly so how to do so only we will display the total whenever we have any item available in the card right so for that reason we have to pass here if then count and then if we have the card items right so if we have card items then simply we will display the total here otherwise we don't need to display anything so end if so if when you have the item in the card then we will display the uh, total otherwise that's not going to be any total right yeah then here simply displaying our total we already calculated the total using our function you can see that get total property right so we're just going to display here total using again number format and inside of that we're going to pass our variable called total it is actually receiving the total and maximum two decimal we're going to display here and it should work now perfectly let me see the card is empty total is not displaying adding one item to the card you can see total is displaying 199 and you can see it's working perfectly so that's it for today's video in next video we will work on displaying product by category right now it's not working okay thank you so much for watching take care bye bye